Kaufman and I'm the co-founder, co-director of Alchemia and the AWOL Art Without Labels Art Gallery. And Alchemia started about 12 years ago and the idea behind it was to provide an environment where artists with different abilities who identify as artists could find a way to be creative and express themselves through art, through dance, through theater, through creative writing, even through film and that we could take their original stories and creations out into the world. My name is Susan Boyle and I'm the director of Art Without Labels. Art Without Labels is a retail gallery featuring art and design by people with developmental disabilities. Uh, we're also a workspace, so artists come in and they have work classrooms. They work in classes of about five to eight students and each one uh, creates a project of their own design. The idea behind it is that the artists get to work with professional artists. They get training and they get the skills that they need to translate what's really in their heart and in their mind and get those skills so that they can create something that can then be sold. And it's a way for them to identify as a working artist. I'm a ceramic artist and I work at Alchemia and we decided that we should make a ceramic mural about wabi-sabi which means perfectly imperfect. We generated lots and lots of drawings and ideas about their lives and how they perceive their lives and how they want others to, to see them. This dress is one of my favorite pieces. It's a group show and it's created from over a hundred hand-stitched swatches of fabric. So they started with blank muslin, um, about eight by five, and each artist hand-painted every single flower, every design, and then they cut them and hand-stitched them onto this dress. One of the great parts about working here is that our artists have a little bit of a lack of an editor. So the work that you see is really bold and really passionate and really true in a way that so often it's lacking in other artwork. Um, they're not afraid to make mistakes. They're not afraid to show up and create a piece of artwork that's unexpected. And that's beautiful. And that's a process that we feel lucky every day to get to witness. What I hope happens when someone comes in this gallery is that maybe at first they really don't know what we are or whose artwork is represented here. And they respond to it just because there's some amazing art, some amazing images, things caught, captured in a really unique way. And then they find out that, you know, this is an art gallery which features work by artists with different abilities. Some people have cerebral palsy or Down syndrome. We even have some artists that are legally blind. And then they kind of go, oh, wow. Well, look at what amazing things are these, this group of artists are doing. And so somehow there is a common chord that really speaks to our common humanity. And, um, and I feel like that's really the underlying value of it. What Alchemia really is about is that regardless of what we think we are who we think we are, what we think other, about other people, that at the core we're really all the same. And through art we have a way to bridge our perceptions about who we are and to sort of break down barriers of difference. 
and, and that's really what's, what's really underneath what's here.